hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl huntsy it's your girl hunter and i'm back with another video if you are new to my channel and new subscribers welcome welcome hello hello um big thank you like oh my goodness we have been growing and i'm so excited to continue on with just this journey of me youtubing and just sharing parts of my life with you guys um another thing you can tell by the title of this video my first video to this series i guess we're gonna call it hit 10,000 views what i never ever would have ever thought that my first video um finding yourself my self-love journey would ever have that many people even click on it like what like what um so yeah i just want to say a big thank you to anyone and everyone who has clicked on that video who's watched it who's commented it's just really crazy like i never would have thought that like within a year that many people would even listen to anything that i had to say so the reason why i'm here today is i decided that i wanted to make like a year later update kind of going off of what that video was about so if you haven't watched that video make sure you definitely go check it out i'm gonna leave it linked down below in the description then i'm also gonna um have it up here i decided to make that video a year ago and it's called uh, Finding Yourself, My Self-Love Journey, where I just kind of talk to you guys about some of the things that I personally was going through. And I just want to sit down and talk about like self-love and just like the journey of finding yourself and just like taking time to just figure yourself out. So if you haven't already, go watch that video first and then come back and watch this video because it's going to be a year of like updates. So anyways, fast forward, it is a year later. I'm 22 now. Um, I graduated college in this past May. Your girl is an educated queen, educated baddie. I graduated with my um, psychology degree, so that's super exciting. And I'm now working a full-time job. So I, a lot has happened within this past year. Um, but yeah, so like, let's just jump. Well, let's just like dive right into it. Okay, so wow, has it been a year? Has it been a year for me? But has it, it's, I feel like it's been a year for everybody. Like, I don't. I don't know what's going on i know what's going on so oh my goodness guys <sighs> my last semester or my last two semesters of college so my senior year of college was a lot um it was a lot a lot happened like it was a lot um <laughs> i hit a point where i was kind of really unsure about what i wanted to do originally like if you've been watching my videos or if you personally know me I've talked about going to grad school and just jumping straight into it after college and you know going to get my um master's degree in um clinical psychology like I had this whole plan and then last year in the fall around like November I kind of like had like I don't want to say mental breakdown but I kind of had a moment I had a moment where I kind of had to sit down and just look at myself in the mirror and be like, Hunter, you need to slow down. Like, you need to take time to figure out what you want to do. Um, these past four years of my life have been so, so like, life-changing, altering, just go, go, go. I haven't really had a time to just, like, do what I want to do and take time for myself, if, if that makes any sense. So I decided that I was going to take a break and not go straight back into school after I graduated and that was something that I really struggled with because I, I really wasn't sure if I was making the right decision and I just was really I was just unsure and because I was so unsure I just knew that that was a reason why I shouldn't jump straight back into school because I wasn't 100 percent sure with what I wanted to do honestly so that happened um my last semester of college so my spring semester was rough I was I had moments I don't want to say I was depressed um because I I feel like we need to take depression seriously so I don't really want to throw that word around lightly but I went through phases where I was very um I was very sad and it was hard like I was it was online like my last semester of college was online and I was like trying to look for jobs and it was just a lot like online school is depressing it's very it's it's not fun so there was that but i made it y'all <laughs> i graduated and it just it all felt surreal like i was just like this is crazy like i can't believe four years of my life have gone by so fast like it's gone by so fast so for everyone watching this video who is in school it goes by so fast it goes by so fast so i please just embrace every moment um 
enjoy the moment live in the moment stop stressing about tomorrow because i promise i promise you you'll get there you will get there you'll be where exactly where you need to be so just enjoy the moment but anyways fast forward to now this is kind of like a just update on what i've been doing i'm working now i know a couple videos ago i told you guys i got a job i am now i'm a registered behavioral technician so i passed my rbt exam Woohoo, I passed that. So right now I work with kids who have autism. So that's what I'm doing full time at the moment. Um, I'm getting a lot of experience. I'm learning a lot, literally every single day. I I've been learning a lot. Um, so I'm really grateful that I'm in a position right now where one, I can work. Two, I have an income. And three, I'm just, I'm just learning a lot more and I'm expanding upon of what I already know. But let, let's get into, let's, let's get into the tea my 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 singleness why am i still single my relationships and stuff like that because i feel like that's something that you guys would want to hear me talk about and it's something I don't, I don't really talk about like relationships that much in videos but i feel like i don't know i kind of want to share you're all still single we're approaching two years and i'm gonna say that is probably the biggest thing that i've been struggling with this past year um and i know in my last video i talked about being comfortable with being alone etc etc and i will say I think I've mastered being alone. I think I have mastered like isolating myself and completely just being okay with being by myself to a point where it got unhealthy. And I'm going to further explain this. So I saw this woman on TikTok and she was like a therapist and she was talking about this like kind of like theory. And I had a moment, I was like, wow, that's like exactly how I feel. In that video on, on TikTok, the therapist was basically talking about how a lot of people have become, um, I don't know if I'm using the right, right word, like hyper independent or um, so independent. Um, it's become like a coping mechanism. Now, listen to me, if you've experienced tr childhood trauma, which I'm sure you have like myself, I have become so I had to become really independent at such a young age it's become kind of like a coping mechanism for me like I don't allow people into my life and like I'm just like I'm good by myself I don't need anybody I'm I, you know I don't I don't need a boyfriend like I'm good but I'm alone like I don't need to go on dates like I'm good I can handle myself I all I need is myself which to an extent that is healthy, but then it can become unhealthy if you don't have a balance. And in the video, she was basically just talking about how you can get to a point where you close off any type of opportunity to make connections with other people. And I like had a moment where I was like, wow, it's getting hot in here. That's me. I was like, wow, that's really, that's me. Cause I have this mindset of like, well, you can't hurt me if I don't let you in. So I'm not gonna let you in. I'm not gonna give you the time of day at all and I really had a moment where I was like I I have to figure out a balance I have to figure out a balance because I know what I want I you know I want to be in a relationship again like I don't I don't want to be single forever um I, I want to open up I want to make those connections with people because I'm just a loving caring person that's who I am naturally but you know over time I've become just so okay with being by myself I'm kind of like well I don't I don't need anybody I don't need to talk to anybody like I'm fine but yeah, she's basically talking about having that like healthy balance and how like it's important to have a healthy balance. And she's like, it's important for you to make connections with people and it's important for you to date and like meet people and talk to people and not just be cooped up in your own head all the time. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, sis got the tea today because wow, did she read me like a book? She read me like a book. Another thing that I've been like working on this past year is just really just, just try to figure out what Hunter wants. Like, I know what I want. I really want to tap into more of my creative side. Um, I used to write poetry. So if you've been following my following me on Instagram for like a minute now, I used to post my poetry on my Instagram, but I, I took it all off. I archived it. But I want to get back into that. I want to get back into writing. I've been reading more books this summer, so I'm proud of myself for that. Um, I want to get back into writing. I want to get back into sharing it. I want to make a website for myself so everything can kind of be a little bit more organized. Um, I want to keep doing YouTube. I love filming videos. I love being able to connect with people. I love TikTok. Like, I, I'm, I just love it all. Um, so I've definitely been wanting to invest more time in that. But at the same time, I struggle a lot with work-life balance and then my creative balance. So going to work, perf performing my job the way I need to 
and then still allowing myself time to do like my, my creative hobbies and stuff that I really like and really care about. So that is something that I've been recently working on this summer since I started working um, like full time and not like part time. Um, just really making sure I'm allowing myself time to still do the things I want to do. Um, so I'm really working on that. I'm trying to like, you know, after work, not get in a habit of just, you know, flopping on my bed and just watching Netflix all night. Like that's cool some nights, but you know, other times, you know, I might need to work on my YouTube. I might need to do stuff for Instagram. I might need to do stuff for TikTok. Um, it's a grind and it's a hustle. Um, on the weekends, I'm trying to be really productive with what I'm doing. So it's just, that's just definitely another thing that I've been working on with like, work-life balance with other things that I really care about I don't want to turn into a zombie that just works their nine to five and doesn't do anything else with their life and isn't pursuing other things because you become so discouraged to the system that we're all accustomed to so that's another thing that I've been working on but honestly guys this has been kind of just like a like a ramble but I just wanted to really update you guys on kind of like where I'm at right now within myself um I think I'm doing a better job now every day is a journey sometimes I have days where I don't feel my best and some days I have other days where I feel amazing and you know some days I feel discouraged and some days I feel on top on top of the world like it's just it's an everyday journey but I'm really focusing and working on living in the moment and not stressing about tomorrow because tomorrow's not here all that I can control is right now in this present moment what I'm saying to you guys so that's another thing that I'm working on but honestly guys that's all I have for this video I just kind of want to do like a life update kind of tell you guys what I've been doing what's been going on in my life and just how I've been um but yeah I will definitely see you guys again and like always if you have not already subscribed um and if you have subscribed already thank you so much and I will definitely catch you guys next time in my next upload and don't forget follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok follow me on everything everything is linked down below let's stay up to date let's stay connected all that good stuff but i will see you guys next time in my next video take care stay positive take care of yourself Mwah. bye